now, a Christmas message from MJ Knight. <sighs> Where do I begin? This year has been a mixture of challenges, controversies, and divisions. I, myself, have faced my own personal challenges that I feel I am still overcoming. It's been documented that I had an anxiety breakdown back in February, which pretty much halted my work as a video creator until September of this year, with the lone exception of the variable at the end of June when I did the 20th anniversary for Jurassic Park 3, just as a means of sending off my previous address. To keep this as short and discreet as I am able to, and yet be as honest as I possibly can, I was dealing with stress at work courtesy of Valentine's weekend, the pandemic didn't help, and I was dealing with some personal IRL issues, which I won't go into here as it's not the place to discuss this. I feel like I am coming out of the other side of the tunnel with a better sense of how to manage these issues, and I feel stronger as a result. I suppose the themes of this year's message are that of rebuilding, hope, and instinct. And I say instinct because that's one thing I've learned to trust more. If you have people that try to sway you from a path you've chosen, and yet you have a gut feeling that doesn't feel right, 10 times out of 10, your gut is right and on the money. This can be anything from a change in career, distancing yourself from someone you know to be toxic and detrimental to your well-being, or if you have a dream project you wish to pursue but others will try to deviate you from your path. So, what does that say about them more than you? True friends and family will offer you advice but will also respect your wishes and desires. You know you. You know what you want. You want to live your dream. It ain't theirs to live. Live your dream. Some seven years ago, I remember Tyrese Gibson saying this, quote, Be clear. The more you talk, the more you're opening up the evil eye. Devils are creative. They have different creative ways to throw you off your course. The more you continue to talk and speak on what your intentions are, those undercover devils that are around you, it's going to unleash their fears and insecurities on you. You'll find yourself in random scenarios and situations to lock you down and shut you down when you have all the hope and ambition in the world to actually do something with your life. Fellas, shut up. Stop talking so much about the stuff that you want to do with your life. Live your life, homie. And understand that only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. Visionaries, people with visions and ideas and dreams and goals and ambition can technically see something that's not there. It doesn't exist. It's a God-sent vision that got dropped down on you and all of a sudden your shirt is being pulled in the direction of that goal and vision and all the things that you're excited about. The more you talk, the more people have an opportunity to talk you out of the stuff you're trying to do. Shut up. Keep your lips sealed, your belt tight, your boots strapped up, and you go on your mission by any means necessary. To blow down any wall and any challenge and any obstacle course, you keep your mind set. End quote. And he's right. Insecure people will do this as they don't want you out of your life because they fear of losing you because they won't get to use you. True friends and families won't do that. Toxic people, however, will. Folks, don't be used. If these people are in your life just to use you, then get out of that circle. Find a circle of self-respect and equally a circle that will respect your dreams, desires, and ambitions, and goals. You do you. Only you can do that. You have a dream. Live it. I hope this inspires you, and that you enjoy your Christmas the way you desire, and you make 2022 the year you realize your dreams. All of you have a great Christmas. Good night, from the night, and Merry Christmas.